<sighs> Hello everyone. Hi. It's been such a long time since we made a video and um, yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to see your smiling faces wherever you're watching this video from. Maybe good to share that we had to re-strategize a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, also because of Elaine's work and schedule, so... Yeah. yeah, and I tend to overthink a lot of things, so I was questioning why we're doing this and, you know... I didn't, want, I didn't know you wanted to go there. It's okay, people can know. It's, okay. it's not easy combining a thing like this with like a full-time job and other things you want to do, so... It's good to reflect on your motivation from time to time and we butt head, we butt head, we butt head it. Butted head. We butted heads. Yes. Um, but we, we were able to <laughs> work it out. So that's this why is, we are here. This is not how I expected us to start, but okay. And it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's good to be transparent and I think it's okay to not be okay and we take a step back and re-strategize. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. So today we want to go about uh, doing something also um, light, something Elaine found on Instagram. This morning. Yeah. So as you can see with the title, we're going to answer these questions. It's not and a question. See. It's not questions. It's statements. So it's we're going to react to these statements. nine signs that you're in a healthy relationship. Yeah, so we're going to react to these statements. See if we agree, or maybe we're not in a healthy relationship. Uh -huh. It might be. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. so... That's, that's why I have my phone, so I can read from it. It doesn't um, matter it's if you actually have your phone, from see? The, uh, we're not, sh 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 I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy, I was excited to use about this video. It's actually from the We're Not Really Strangers Page. Instagram, yeah. which is also the game we play once a month. Oh yeah, um, our dog, Nala, as you know, probably will link the video. She's around. She was She's very nervous right about here. the setup. Yeah. Uh, we have a big light here. So she was like, what's happening? Yeah. Um, but when I set up the dome, she was like, no way, that <laughs> thing is that big. So she was running away at, uh, yeah. yeah. But we're managing. Yeah. As very new parents, it's yeah. been out within a week. Um, so yeah. That was a nice, nice side conversation, but we have to get back yeah. into the juice of it. Um, nine signs that you're in a healthy relationship. One, their feelings for you are clear. There's nothing to decode or Google. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I see that with us. I mean, it's pretty plain Yeah. or straightforward. I, I know what you feel for me and I think you also know what I feel for you and we express that in different ways as in <laughs> we do don't we <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was it was funny okay no, Go maybe on. you're gonna say like no don't share it in the video but um this morning so I already shouted everything out of work meeting from home uh, and then I was like getting ready to get into the shower so he was naked and, and I was like mm! And he laughed so hard, and uh, I also laugh because it's special that, I mean, we've now known each other for seven years. Seven years, yeah. Ah, it's a long time, and when I see him, not all the day, all the day I'm like, ooh, but sometimes you have these moments that you're still like, yeah, you know, hey, I'm you're just, looking fine. Yeah, I'm, buff as, I'm buff as hell, you know, I'm fine as hell. I think it's, <laughs> thank it's you, thank you, thank a you. playful way to express it, but yeah, it's still special. But it's, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. You would know when this person... Um, has feels for you, depending yeah. on whatever it is, whether you're joking, whether it's romantic, whether it's exceptionally romantic. Or friendship. Or friendship, you know. Or sexy. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean that by exceptionally romantic? I mean, there's romantic normal and there's over the top. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean with over the top? Please, go to the next one. Okay. Ah-ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, I just wanted to understand. <laughs> okay, two. You love the reality of the relationship, not just its potential. Ooh, a lot of people are going to be burned by this one. Why? I think a lot of people love the potential. fall in love with the idea they have of the person and not the person itself. Right. And or they, they, they like the idea, they, they fall in love with the idea of love or they love love, but not the... Yeah, or they love 
what the person represents. represents. Yeah. Maybe the person is rich, maybe the person is powerful, maybe the person is confident, you also want that in your life, maybe. Yeah. You, you try to... The idea of having such a person in your life, maybe the person is generally cool and you think that, yeah, I would also want to have such a person as my partner or... Well, that's clear that for me, you would... <laughs> what? I don't think anybody would be... Uh, like, it's fine. <laughs> Why? Wait, hold up. When like, I saw you the first time... I was time, just laughing at myself because... No, when I saw you the first time, I thought you were actually like... Cool? Yeah. No, I'm not cool. <laughs> that's what you think. That's, yeah, what you, like, that's what you think. I'm not one of the cool kids. I'm not. Yeah, but that's I what you think. I know that of myself. I, but that's what I you know think. my potential is not in the cool corner. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but no, that's not what I saw. And that's not what I see. Hmm. Yeah, so, so what is the reality then of me? Or of our relationship? I've, already, I've been telling you several times. You're a badass. You're super cool. Like, you're very... Uh, assertive, confident, mm. and that's sexy as fuck. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you, know you are sense? cool. Okay. Yeah, but not in like the cool kids kind of way. I don't. What's cool kids kind of way? I don't know. Maybe cool I'm too subjective. much in the high school. Yeah. Please. Like, okay. Next. Yeah. I don't know where it went. Ah, my phone locked. It's not unlocking. Okay. Three. Conflict feels constructive, not destructive. Ooh. Not so all the time. Yes. Not all the time. To be fair, in the beginning, usually it's hot. Yes. Till you, you know, it simmers down and you break it down and realize, that, okay, this is what you can yeah. you know, do about it. But in you a, mean in the beginning of the relationship or you mean in the beginning of, of the arguments? conflict, usually. When the conflict but, escalates. Okay. okay, please finish. Sometimes it's, it's too hot to seem constructive. Yeah. But I have to say, because we are already together for a longer period, yeah. The if we don't have that many arguments anymore, we kind of know the signs. Yeah. Like, oh, Kwame is frustrated because of this. Oh, Elaine is upset because of this, and you you um, you kind of recognize that or acknowledge that, and then you have the common ground to move forward. But when we have a very fundamental discussion about things that go really deep, which is where we are now in this in. In our relationship. Those things are constructive, is all you mean. Then they get very heated. Okay. But we don't have hot fights about dishes or, I don't know, yeah. mis miscommunication or, yeah. okay. I want I this from you, but I don't dare to ask. And blah, blah, blah. no, these kind of things we've already done. Yeah, talk for. So, yeah. yeah. I understand. Was that number three? Four, the relationship doesn't require a specific set of circumstances to feel good. Whew, a lot of people are going to feel this one. Really? Why do you say that? You read it because you, your voice is nicer to listen to. Well, listen. the relationship doesn't require a specific set of circumstances to feel good. Okay. So, I've sometimes, when I was with somebody, and I was like, if we were on an island, a remote island with okay, just the so two of us. Okay, so there's a lot of what ifs. Uh, then it would have been perfect. Yeah. But because in real life and the challenges that it throws, yeah. and it doesn't work, then you, like, it feels like you're, you yourself, not you're trying to fool yourself, but you're like, oh, but when we're, it's just two of us, then it's fine. Fine, yeah. Or when but, we go on vacations, or when we do this, yeah. together, or when we do this. Yeah, but just yeah. being there in the same space most of the time when Elaine is just watching TV and I'm on my phone and just existing together still feels good. Yeah. So it doesn't need special circumstances to feel that kind of way, which I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you should, of course, it should feel nice when it's just a tool of you, but it should also feel nice when I'm with my friends and you're doing, you're at home doing something or yeah. like it just in real life, it just feel, should feel good in general. Yeah. I agree. Not, not like on a remote island, just the two of us in like a honeymoon kind of setting. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So point number five. Five. You don't have to hide your needs to keep the peace. You do not have to hide your needs. Are you hiding your needs? No. Are you sure? No. I'm not hiding my needs at all. Okay. That's good. Well, some of my needs I'm hiding, yes. Not necessarily hiding. Like but it's not 
a need that is uh, I can provide or it's not a relationship need. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess I I need I need, I need a, a like two Sony FX6s. No, that's something else. <laughs> that's something else. I think they're talking about what you need in a relationship or what yeah. you need to like so maybe how you want to be loved. Yes. Yes. You don't have to hide how you want to be loved and what you demand from the person yes. to, 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 you know, keep the peace. But I do have to say, not that I am hiding my needs and there's no peace, but it takes time before somebody really gets you. Especially if we are both loving differently and it takes some time to figure out the DNA and how to recognize it. Yeah. Because it's like, it's not a manual, like, Step one, do this. Step two, do this. No. Life yeah. happens and on the go, you have to love each other. So it's not like step one, two, three. Yeah. It's like step one, 16, 28, 38. Like you go off everywhere. You have, throws, to be like, yeah, you have to be ready for it. So, yeah. I think it takes time. Yeah. And it's okay to take time. And sometimes you need to also advocate for yourself what you need. And it's okay if that doesn't bring peace immediately. But as long as it's constructive... So because you're, it, you're adding a bit of the previous points into it yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I, I think especially women sometimes make themselves small to facilitate what the partner wants. It's often women, not all the time, but what I see around me. And to keep the peace or to keep him close or that's what he likes. But what about you? Yeah, what do you like? Yeah, because your peace is also at stake. Yeah. So for me, it's always better to talk about it, but I know people disagree with that, so. And this one I think is very simple. If your partner is not celebrating, let me just read it. Your growth is celebrated, not criticized. Yeah. Yeah, your growth is celebrated, not criticized. If your partner is not celebrating your wins, um, it's not even your wins as in even, for the most part, the conflict arises from certain career changes and where it takes the people, uh, take, takes the people, yeah, that are going through those changes. Mm -hmm. Those wins sometimes changes the routine, changes um, being present together and all those things. But even your personal, emotional wins mm -hmm. are also very important. Maybe there are some things that you... Oh, I can some... give an example. Like yesterday, so I was on a work outing and I was with a team that I... a team from different countries that I didn't meet and... Uh, I was invited to stay over and it was like uncomfortable because I didn't know these people and then on Thursday I would have my session with my team with the other team and then I explained to Carver like oh we we're gonna do something that's quite like not what we've been doing all week so it's quite creative and more like out of the box so I'm wondering how they're gonna react and then this man this wonderful man just <laughs> responds like oh that sounds amazing I'm so proud of you I'm sure it will work out and it's nice Aww. to read because then it's like, oh yeah, it's gonna work out, you know. It's just like but a small I, I, reminder. Yeah. So but like, I do believe in. I've seen, I've seen her in action. There's no way I'm gonna doubt the things that she she brings up in terms of creative uh, business ideas. It's yeah. just, I'm not saying this because she's my wife or my friend or I've known her for that long. She's just really good. I've seen the things she's executed, even when she was an intern at uh, the Netherlands Embassy. Bruh, yeah. my wife is the best <laughs> business developer you But can ever I add some a critical notes? Because I don't think that support necessarily means that you're always only celebrating. I think support can also mean thinking through things and be critical. Together, yes. Yeah, so for example, when you had the idea that you wanted to go freelance, Yes, I celebrated that and I wanted you to do that. But remember, we also made a planning counting down the days and what you needed to do when yeah. in order to be ready. Yeah. Because it's not something that you just do overnight. You need to think it through. How are you going to uh, cope mentally? What should we prepare for? How are we going to you know, manage? Because suddenly you are home all the time. Like, yeah. what, what does it mean for our household? Um, all these things yeah and so it's okay to be critical but you shouldn't like put somebody's ideas like make them small and not not like pursue it yeah 
but you can help them by also asking critical questions. Maybe they're not always open for that, but in the end, it might help them in their process. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Lecture over. <laughs> no, I was in seven. Oh, sorry. Um, you love who you are when you're with them. It's self-explanatory. If you don't feel like yourself. Yeah. If you have to stop yourself from doing certain things, maybe because it's uh, goofy or weird in whatever way, and you just can't be comfortable. Yes. I was just thinking about something. No, okay, I can even give an example from last night. So Wow, you can give me so many. So much happened last night, guys. It's amazing. <laughs> so many, so many. Last night, yesterday, two days ago. Uh, everything okay. happened. This this vlog was meant to happen this week because I have so okay. many examples. Go on. Okay, last night, uh, I was... I mean, I've, I've had some things with my body that have been a bit off, like I've had a lot of wrist pain and some other things I will not share on YouTube, but um, wrist pain, for example. And sometimes I just need to tell one person so that somebody knows and it gives me kind of a peace of mind. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm struggling with this. It's really like influencing my day. So I literally told go over in bed, like about to sleep, like I need to do like a weird update of my body. And he was like, What's that? I'm like, no, it's fine. But let me just like, so I could, even though it, it was something I was uncomfortable sharing, yeah. but I still knew there was like space for it. Yes, and, and it's a safe space with me to do it. Yes, and by saying like, it's something weird, he knew that he shouldn't go laugh at me or like, I yeah. announced it like, this is a bit like vulnerable, so please just listen. Yeah. And then I can let it go afterwards. And today I haven't thought about it as much. So it, it does help. So that was my example. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering where this is coming from. <laughs> Number eight. That was a voiceover right there. Yeah. They make you feel loved even when you don't feel lovable. It's true. <laughs> so, so do you have an example? Um, yeah, I can be annoying with some of the things. I can be very stubborn as well with some mm -hmm. of the things that I want to do or some of the things, uh, how I want to do certain things or when. Yeah. Those instances, how, when, why, and all, like sometimes I don't even announce it. I just do it. And she still doesn't make me feel like, yeah, it's such a terrible thing or it's, it's so difficult to even be with you or love you when you don't, you know, share some of these things or... Um, make us explore together or make me part of the process so mm -hmm. that's that's an example yeah i think my example is uh i i really always really focus on productivity so when i rest i always feel a bit like watched yeah <laughs> the crowd is really good at like oh yeah do you like yes okay yesterday <laughs> Just chill. <laughs> Yesterday I, I came home and I was just so tired. Like my brain was buzzing with everything from work. I just wanted to eat and then watch some trash TV. I call trash TV when it's like, I mean, it's reality TV where I don't have to think too much, like keeping up with the Kardashians. Wow, trash TV, keeping up with Love the Kardashians. Love is blind. Wow. Or I'm now watching The Ultimatum. TV? Yes, okay, we will go into that discussion another time. And then I'm like, babe, can I watch some trash if he can just be? And he's like, oh yeah, you do you. And he just like goes around the house and nothing. Yeah. So even when I feel like mm, I'm not really lovable right now, I can't talk. I just want to watch TV and do nothing. Yeah. Then you still love the hell out of me. Yeah. And uh, number nine is, it's, it, frankly, it's just a bonus. It's not discussable. If you're reading this, there's a particular person that comes to mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think that's also a good thing. Yeah, and so if you go through all these points that you just listened and there's somebody that comes to mind, it makes sense that this person makes you feel this way, then yeah. It's a healthy relationship. That you're in. Yeah, and I think this can also, I mean, we are now applying it to our partnership, but I think it can also apply to friends. You can apply it to um, friends, you can apply it to family. family. Maybe. Um, Depending on I'm not so family. sure about work, because that's not where those things are practiced. But. Most of the times, workplaces are not the most safe places to... Well, it depends if you meet, I mean, I met a lot of friends at work, but, but I wanted to add one more thing to that you could really be yourself because if I think about my previous relationships that I'm not in anymore, um, 
Of course, you're not in anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I added that. <laughs> like, uh, maybe I should just stop talking. Yeah. And maybe but go on, go on. Maybe find finish. it you're interesting. So I all that. Um, <laughs> so scary. Are you I sure you want to go to this? I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Are you sure you want to yes, go to this? Yes, let's stop it here. I can't even talk anymore. I think we should cut it out because it's really unpleasant to listen to. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's, that's just my cue to tell you that I'm not going to cut it out. So if you've watched okay. it up to this point in the video, I didn't cut it out. Sorry, I wasn't getting really hot. Like, it's not going well. Yeah, so we're going to end this here. Um, so, nine things. That can be the thumbnail. Nine things to show that you're in a healthy relationship. You have to do your thumb out because your hand was still okay. showing a bit, so it was like ten. Nine things that you're in a healthy relationship. Do you tick all the boxes? If so, nine. Are there any other things yeah. that should be added? Yeah. No, I don't think so. So, yeah. <laughs> so, maybe many people think so. If you, yeah, if you think there's something to add, just comment yeah, it. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. We want to know. But this is our version of, or well, relating to what we read from Instagram on uh, We're Not Really Strangers page. We'll catch you in the next video. My name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. And this is me plus you. It's us. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> so